take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. It is the first book in the Dollinganger series, and was followed by Petals on the Wind, If There Be Thorns, Seeds of Yesterday, Garden of Shadows, Christopher's Diary, Secrets of Foxworth, Christopher's Diary, Echoes of Dollinganger and Christopher's Diary, Secret Brother. Take our lead. Almost the entire story takes place in a palatial estate called Foxworth Hall, the exteriors of which were played by the real-life Crane Mansion on Castle Hill in Ipswich, M.A. The mansion has been used in several other movies as well, including the 1987 all-star cast The Witches of Eastwick, Point one nine October 2016. Make your mark, take our lead. 12-year-old. In the early 1940s, the Dollinganger children, 14-year-old Chris, 12-year-old Kathy, 5-year-old twins Carrie and Corey, live happily with their parents, Christopher and Kareen, in Pennsylvania. Take our lead. There's no actual evidence proving that Flowers in the Attic is based on true events, but the book was advertised as being based on a true story when it was initially releases, and a relative of Andrews confirmed that it was inspired by an actual account. Flowers in the Attic was based on a true story. Point one eight January 2014. Make your mark, take our lead. She reveals her identity to Bart and their affair to Corrine simultaneously at the Foxworth Hall Christmas party. Bart believes Kathy, and Corrine confesses. Corrine then goes insane and sets the whole place on fire, burning Foxworth Hall to the ground and killing Bart and her mother inside. Carrie commits suicide. Point 1 April 2021. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.